Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. Hopefully I didn't overload you with too much information last time. I'm going to take it a little bit more easy now. And I'm actually going to let the game start. And I'm going to play it on speed 3 for now. And we're going to let things advance quickly. We have got married. We can collect royal aid duty to pay for the ceremonies. We can gain 1 gold. Which isn't much considering we have 40. Or people respect wealth. If we do this we'll gain back some of the prestige we lost by marrying a lower class woman. So we'll do that. Um, he accepted the suggestion we get married. And we have fulfilled the ambition to get married. So that's good. And she's arrived at my court. We can now choose a new ambition. And our ambition is going to be. To have a son. Okay, now actually, I've just thought about this. Martial and health aren't that important at the moment because it's really high. So I'm thinking, if I change to a family, that's going to increase my diplomacy by 2. My fertility by 25 and my health by 1. So I'm still getting the plus 1 health from there. I think the extra fertility is going to be very good. So we're going to choose that. Why can't we select that? It can't be changed for another five years. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Maybe we'll try extra hard in five years. I'm going to close this and continue. Now we're going to want to start raiding soon. But first of all I want to build up my troops. If I can get 624. That's a lot more than these. Ooh, they are improving a little bit. You're going to have 624. You're going to have 311. Now this guy is going to have a low martial skill. 8 and State Marshal 17, whereas this guy, 19 and 38. That's why he can raise a lot more troops. There is some maths in it somewhere. There we go. Owner Marshal skill plus 70%. And this person here, Owner Marshal skill minus 10%. So, when you're picking and choosing targets to attack, it's always a good idea to attack the weaker ones first. I mean, this guy over here is very weak. He's 3 and 15, so... His troops are going to be very low, his garrison is going to be very low, it's going to be very easy to raid them and gain some money and prestige. Which is always good. <clears throat> so we're going to go raiding once we've built up our forces. Title loss and succession. Okay, a message about invite to plot has been received from Arktal Enach Rifland. Um... Kill Fergal MacElch. Who is Fergal MacElch? It must be in my court. Fergal MacElch. It's not you, is it? It is. That's my marshal, and you are just a courtier. Why do you want to kill him? I'm going to decline this. Now this guy is a nobody. Now I can righteously imprison him. There is a 66% chance that we can arrest him. If we fail, I might declare war on us. He's not going to declare war on us. He doesn't have an army. He's got nothing. But since we have evidence, he's the plot leader, no one will object. If you try and arrest someone who hasn't done anything wrong, people will strongly object. But I'm going to go to this. Click on him. Close this for a second. Go right click on him and we're going to ask him to end his plot. There used to be a button over here, I believe it was, which would bring down a list. Now you have to right click on the portrait. And I don't think I like that. I think I prefer the old system, but what can we do? I'm going to ask him to end the plot and he will not dare to refuse. He's got a base reluctance of 2. You can see the minuses. Can't really point the mouse but base reluctance minus two dare not refuse minus five i'm gonna ask him to end his plot because i don't want him to kill our marshal he seeks to kill him that's a low priority message yes message about arranged marriage has been received my courtier who are you you're very good at intrigue and you're very good at teaching intrigue as well actually so 
the court chaplain, heir to the bishopric of Dulban, and he is the king of Pictlands. Where are you? You're over here in Scotland, I think. So I'm going to decline this because I want to keep that woman. Pictlands, where is Pictlands? Somewhere over here. I can't see it. Pinbed. Duban. Candon. I don't know. Anyway, let's continue, shall we? He's giving up his plot. Thank you very much. We're going to let the game advance. And actually, I want to move you over here as soon as we can. Because I'd rather take this place here. His diplomacy is 8 and state diplomacy 24. This guy, 5 and 24. It's about the same then, diplomacy-wise. Once it's been six months, 3rd of July, we can move him over here. So you're going to move... Ooh, it's June now. To wait till July. I'm gaining prestige and piety. Not much because we're losing a lot from Lustful and Cynical. Now you can move. There we go. He's over there now. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. It's a little bit crazy. And I live in... Somerset. I used to live in Dorset a few months ago. I was born in Cornwall. <coughs> I have lived in... I suppose it would be... Fort Forturia? For true? In a place called Elgin up here. I've also lived in... Germany... Somewhere around here, I believe. Cole, maybe? Somewhere around there. I was very young at the time. I was only aged... Five to eight. And my dad was in the RAF. Anyway, I'm going to check on my tribe. I need to save up some money. Or prestige. 140... 6.3 to build an earth hill fort so that'll increase my levy size and increase my hill fort power and then market village will increase my tax income my tax income is going to be very low at the beginning only 0.23 per month things are slowly coming along nicely going to wait until this is filled up and then, once this is filled up, I'm going to send them out to raid. And I'm going to swap my marshal over to try and recruit a raiding army. Send them out to raid. And then hopefully, we can get some money and some prestige. And since we are very high in marshal, I believe we will be leading the charge. Now here is my combat modifiers. Oop. The White Stag. Lately you have heard persistent rumours from peasants and travellers in the wilds that a strange mythical beast has been sighted in your realm. It's a White Stag, powerful and elusive. The common folk claim it comes from another world and the, the hunter that claims it will be imbued with divine power. I must send people to, out to find it. Yes, definitely. I think we're going to send it out because this is going to be one of our events for the ho hunting focus. So we're going to go and try and find the white stag. And in the meantime, I'm going to go to my intrigue. And scroll up. Where is going on a pilgrimage? Maybe I can't do it yet. Oh well. There used to be an option to go on a pilgrimage, but I can't see it anymore. How is my army doing? I wish you would give us a timer how many months or years it's going to be until they're fully ready to go out and attack. And if I go to my military screen, <coughs> we have... How do we show it again? Oop! Good news, my lord. We have received credible reports of a recent sighting of the Great White Stag in the providence of... Da -da 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 -da. Um, saddle my horse. We're going after the White Stag. How do we check the military again? Ah, there we go. We have a lot of points in light infantry. Well, a lot of units in light infantry. A couple of heavy infantry and lots of archers. 
let's check our combat modifier. High pursuit. Mole defense is works out even, I think. No bonuses to that. Um old wound has finally healed leaving a pretty grotesque scar behind we lose the trait wounded and we gain the skate uh, the trait scarred that's going to give us plus 0.1 prestige per month so let's do that shall we you have gathered your followers and your hunting dogs you have saddled your horse and prepared your weapons you are ready to set out to hunt the great white stag an epic hunt it shall be aggressive leader we can be very good at attacking, not very good at defending. <coughs> Scouring the countryside for your prey, you come upon a lone rider. As you strike up conversation, it turns out he also hunts the same great animal that you are after. His lack of success thus far seems to match yours, but he invites you to talk and share experiences. Um, a courtier named Four Bashad appears at the court, and I'll gain plus one marshal until either one of us dies it's not going to be to the end of time um, this is going to all give me one marshal a rival he must die I don't want to gain the trait paranoid because if he's paranoid traits do have effects on you it's not just traits, it's it, how you react to things. So if, for example, things go bump in the night and stuff, you think people are trying to kill you if you're paranoid. Um, I'm going to ask him to join me at my court, because you never know, he could be good. I am now known as a hunter. You have returned to court. The hunt for the elusive white beast seems fruitless, but there are many more things out there in the world. Maybe next time you'll catch your prey. I won't give up. Um, my leash since I arrived at Disney, there has been never been a shortage of soldiers reinforcing the troops stationed here. Under our guidance, they believe fame and fortune awaits them. So my levy and reinforcement rate will increase by 50%. That's good. Now known as the Hunter. Chief Jimbo the Hunter. Why is that not popping up? Maybe it takes a bit of time. Anyway, where's this new person that's arrived at my court? Council appoints. Began with an F. You. You're good at martial. Although not as good as my current martial. That's a shame. Need to gain some prestige. How's my reinforcements doing? Very close to the end. There we go. We are now at maximum troops. So, I'm going to get my council. Organise a raid. Here. So, there is a... 14.24% chance every year he's going to get a raiding army. Anyone better than you? No. Well, then what are you good at? Not much. Okay, so I'm going to, where's my army gone? There it is, raise local liege levies, or another way we can do it is raise everybody. 590, raise them. Now, who's going to be our first target? 404, 311. Now, these guys... All owned by the same person. So, you could call in 340 plus 266. That's not a good idea. 280 and 187. So, I'm going to send my army up here. And then get them to raid, I think. And off we go, raiding. You're on your way. And you will arrive there on the 1st of June. No, that's this place here. Okay, you are nearly there. <clears throat> now, we can't conquer any of these places at the moment because we have no valid Cassus Bellies on them. So, I'm going to send you. Jimbo is currently leading the army. Toggle Looter. Oop, I need to be in a friendly lands before I do that. I forgot about that completely. Okay. 
you head back. This is costing me a little bit of money having my troops out, but they will pay for themselves and gain a profit over time. I think this place will be our next target because they're very low on troops as well. Ooh, we're getting... I can't what that's called now. Okay, we're going to toggle looter and we're going to head to up here and we're going to go and raid. We're going to get some money and prestige because we are leading the army. There's a chance we can capture prisoners as well. And when we capture prisoners we can ransom them for more money. We'll gain prestige and that will enable us to build things. And also I'm going to go to my laws and I'm going to try get low tribal organization. At the moment I have none. I'm going to go for low. Okay. They've approved it because there's no one to argue it. And it's going to take another five years before I can increase it again. Let's go raiding, shall we? We're currently raiding here. And their morale is going to go down by 9.2 every 12 days. If I toggle Siege View, here is the possible loot I can get. It's going to slowly go down as I siege them. And it's going to go into my coffers. And then when I take it over, then I will get some money and hopefully some prisoners. Unfortunately, I won't be able to attack the Bishop Brick. I've got too many units. And this one over here only has... Not that many, actually. What about you? Not too bad. You don't have many, but I have to get through the the capital first. You can't choose where you attack. It's always the first one, then the second one, then the third one. Our next target is going to be Brif Rifine. Brifine. Still haven't got all the money yet. They've given up, and we looted 1.9, and we gained no piety. Let's pause the game quickly. Okay, we cannot raid this because they have more troops than us. We have looted 0.0. We did loot a little bit, though. Let's send our raiders over to here. I'm going to raid this place now and hopefully get some money. Look on our troops. We've got a little bit of money. They have no one leading the defence. Going down 8.9 every 12 days. We won't be able to take this either. What about you? Hmm. Let's think. I think we need to outnumber them by about 10%. Bandits have raided the siege camps outside the place, killing many of the besieging soldiers. Well, they killed four. That's not really many. That's a couple. 250 plus that many. That's close to 650. 600. They've got more than us, so we won't be able to siege that to get to the Bishop Rick. That's a shame. Next target will be not you. What about you? Nope. You, nope, you, nope, oop, you, go for you next, and then this one here. And then we'll probably go home. If we raise a sieging army, a raiding army, sorry, then we can increase the size of our army. We gain 2.6 money, okay. After a successful siege, your men drag this person out. Of his hiding hole. He's been imprisoned. And no money was looted apparently. Probably because they've got none saved up. Okay, next we're heading, was it here? No. 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 It was here, wasn't it? So you head down here. If I click on myself, I am currently hostile with the two people I've raided. It lasts about half a year. And they can retaliate against me. Another thing I need to be wary of is do they have allies? Do I have allies? 
No, because I didn't marry anyone important. That's what kids are good for. Getting allies. <clears throat> also good for increasing the dynasty. Marrying them off and creating... Oop. Traitor working in the besiegers has eroded the morale of the defenders in Gabran. That's the case there. Morale took a hit. You can marry them off and they can start another dynasty of Spike somewhere else. They raided the camps of the besiegers. Ooh, they killed some people. Ooh, a fair few actually. Good for them. I probably shouldn't be saying that, but it's good for them. You don't have many. You don't have many. Okay. Now, I can't actually raise these 83 troops because my leader of this province is out. Say, for example, if I own this place and this place, I uh, sent them out. I have to send one of them back to where they belong, disband it, oop, pause the game, and re-raise the army and then get them to join again and get the other one to go back. Disband and re-raise to get the troops that are there. We've got a little bit of gold. I think we're about breaking even at the moment. We are gaining a little bit of prestige. Let's go over here. We might be able to break through there. I'm not sure. We've got a lot of troops there though. I don't think we would have break through. So, I'm going to turn off Looter for now and send you back home. I knocked on the door and heard him swear when something was knocked to the floor and broke by the sound of it. When he finally called come in, I opened the door and saw the messy room filled with weird looking glasses, stuffed exotic animals and the man I was visiting in the middle of the mess with singed eyebrows. Um... Everyone will suspect him of cultism. Let's have a look on him, shall we? Who are you? He's just a courtier. Let's confront him about cultism, occultism, shall we? Army's returning. I need a raiding army, really. Let's disband you. I was a bit distracted when I handed my buzzard to a courtier. I was watching another of my birds who were about to catch another rabbit and did not realise that the eager courtier had no clue of what to do with the buzzard. It did not end well. The bird was lost. Oh no. Poor birdie. This is the last time I trust someone with my birds. Four bashed was supposed to give my buzzard to the falconer, but slipped and lost his grip of the bird and it escaped. Well, my opinion of him has been decreased by minus 10 for two years. I will never see her again. Poor birdie. He got losted. Well, we've been on a little raid. We haven't really done that much. I need to get some prestige. Quite a lot, actually. To get some of these. For example, Weaponsmith. Levy reinforcement rate, more morale, more archers, more light infantry, levy size and garrison size. What's going on now? Someone's been given a seat among the cardinals and Pope Stephen III has died and been succeeded by Pope Vigilus II. Okay. Waiting for you to get a claim on this place because I might be able to take them out just about. I might need to borrow some money from Jewish moneylenders or merchants. Well, I can live with that. Let's go to our entry quickly. It is April at the moment. It costs 0 0.5 to invite nobles to court. I think I might invite 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That'll do. I'll go to our council. You're just as good. You're just as good. You are brilliant. My steward, eh? Why are you rubbish? Let's get this person here. You're very good. Also Irish. Go out. And you are going to... Warriors raised. Hmm. 
I need to be at war for that though. So I'm going to oversee construction for anything I build. A point, spy master, no one's better. Court chaplain, you are better. So we're going to appoint you. And have your court chaplains whip up religious zeal among the people, increasing your party and possibly even attracting some holy warriors. If you don't use these troops for religious wars, they will get angry at you and you will lose piety. So I'm going to just improve religious relations over here. A point. You're just as good. You want to become spy master. We're well, not very good at it, so no. We've got a better steward. And that should increase my tax rate. Once the game starts rolling. And also, my state, steward, state stewardship has gone through the roof. Everything's doing very well. I would like to increase my diplomacy. I need to have some children. Go on, get her in the sack. Maybe I need to change this to family. End of 7073. Not 1773, 773. Come on, not much is happening at the moment. They're rebuilding. Local tax modifier. They've still got... Lots of possible loot. 590. Lots of possible loot. Hmm. 6 there. Why have you got 6 and you've got such a high amount then? Is that because it's been burned down? Be protected by fort level. Fort level eight. What have you built then? Nothing. So why is your fort level so low? Is that because you're personal military? What's my fort level at? Nine. Why is it at nine? I'm not sure how to check that. If any of you guys know, please do tell me in the comments. We're now at minus 10 prestige, 23 piety, and we've got a little bit of money. I'm going to wait to the end of the year and then call that it for the episode. <coughs> hmm. Not much going on in the world, is there? Whoa, 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 whoa. West Francia won then. King Carl of West Francia. You're doing well. You've got a few revolts on your hands. What are you fighting over? You're defending against the West Francian revolt to lower crown authority. Ah, fair enough. It's all broken over here. Byzantine Empire. These guys are just scary. I was thinking of starting over here, but I have no idea how those guys work. And we're going to pause the game, because that's it for part two, guys. Join me next time for part three. I'll see you then.